Hi guys, welcome to Life Matters. This is my second video, but it's the first time I'm going to be talking about health-related issues. So I chose sleep to be the first topic because sleep is one of the pillars and foundations of health. And while some people out there still think that sleep can be a waste of time, a waste of your life, the reality is that not getting enough sleep at night will have serious consequences in the short and the long term. Sleep is essential for the normal functioning of all body systems, and this is including the mental and physical health. The lack of quality of sleep will cause a person to feel angry, will have mood swings, memory loss, drowsiness, poor concentration, depression, anxiety, reduced immune function, reduced white blood cell count, lack of energy, and that's just to mention a few. For people who exercise, remember that it is when you're sleeping, when you're actually getting bigger and stronger. It is when your muscles are finally recovering. I've noticed in the gym many people go and exercise and at the end of the session they believe they're already bigger and stronger. And the reality is the opposite. Uh, repetitive straining, which is what exercise is, uh, will tear apart microscopic fibers in our muscles. And this is why we feel sore the next day. Only by sleeping and eating properly, you, you will be able to make your muscles to fix, to go back, grow together bigger and stronger. Depending on the type of exercise that you're doing, you could actually make them more flexible as well. Now, injuries happen when instead of a small control tearing of muscle fiber, excessive amount of muscle is damaged. And this is exactly one of the risks of overtraining, and this is why you want to take it easy after you haven't been exercising for a long time. You want to start from the beginning. You want to start slow and make sure you don't injure yourself because that will be just a big, big, big setback in your training. Now look, for example, babies, infants, kids, even teenagers, they tend to sleep way more than adults. And this is normal. This is a good thing because it is when we're sleeping, remember that, we're growing and getting stronger. For example, babies, when they're sleeping, they sleep 16 hours a day normally. And this is a good thing, this is a great thing, because it is then when they're actually, their bones, their muscles, their brain, everything is getting bigger and stronger. So it's really important that they get good quality sleep and proper diet. When we're sleeping, our vital functions lower to a minimum. And this is normal, this is good, because by doing that, we can conserve energy. Energy that we're not using by talking, walking, thinking, uh, working. Now that energy can now be focused and redirected on repairing tissues, organs and body system. I can't stress this enough, it's really important that you get this idea. And it is also when our immune system is the most active, when we're sleeping. And this is when we're going to be fighting pathogens, infections, disease. This is very important that we sleep when we're sick. And even though our conscious mind is sleeping, our subconscious mind is never sleep. It's always working. It's always working hard to keep you alive, to keep all your vital functions happening. Your heartbeat, your body temperature, your hormone production, your neurotransmitter synthesis, the acid alkaline balance, everything that needs to be happening for you to be alive is happening while you're sleeping and it's happening in a controlled fashion by the subconscious mind. Sleep is often regarded by some people as a waste of time, especially workaholics and students, etc. Uh, some people think it's a luxury or a sign of laziness. But you know, the reality is that sleep is so important that if you don't sleep for a few days, you will die. You will die. After four to six days, you will have some severe psychosis symptoms. And after that, any day after that can be potentially fatal. And this is because the body doesn't have time and doesn't have the energy to, you know, regenerate all those cells that normally die on a daily basis. Every second, cells are recycling. And if you don't sleep, you don't have the time, the energy to make them again. So, in fact, the brain cells are really, really sophisticated, but also fragile at the same time. And they start dying. Even when you go to bed late night, they start dying right away, especially when you're drinking or partying hard, you know. Uh, say, for example, I, I was thinking the other day, a guy dies at 90 years old and he used to sleep every day, nine, eight hours a day. So that means that he's, he spent 30 years of his life sleeping. But you know, those 30 years might be the most important time of his life because otherwise those other 60 years won't, won't happen at all. So regardless of your age, gender, ethnicity, level of activity, as you can see by now, improving the quality of your sleep will have dramatically benefits for your health. 